Student Pets Channel presents 7 Tips on How to Properly Care for a Rabbit at Home But before we go to the video, please subscribe to our channel and leave your like, because this will help our channel to grow, now stay with the video. Well, taking care of a rabbit may seem like a very simple task, but just like other animals, these rodents need special care and attention in order to live in comfort and health. Rabbits are increasingly occupying a prominent place in family homes due to their receptive personality and the ease with which they adapt to our routine. So today, I will talk about 7 tips on how you should take care of a rabbit, so that it lives happily and jumps freely. Stay to the end of the video and see how you can do this. Number 1. Choose a very comfortable cage for your rabbit. The cage for an average rabbit weighing about 3 kilograms should be at least 80 centimeters long, 48 cm wide and 40 centimeters high. The size should allow the rabbit to lie down comfortably without touching the food bowl or its water trough. It is very important that you place the cage in a very comfortable place which is not exposed to too much cold and noise. The place should be safe and should not contain anything that can harm the animal such as electrical wires or other items that it can swallow. As rabbits like to chew wires and cables, buy electrical cable protectors to hide them. Number 2. Make a hiding place inside the cage. Rabbits love to hide. This can be a tunnel for example. If you have more than one rabbit, each one should have its own hiding place. Number 3. Take care of your rabbit's coat and nails. To take care of your rabbit's fur, brush it daily or every other day. Do this with a soft brush suitable for these animals. You can also bathe your pet but we recommend using a dry shampoo which will help remove bacteria and oils that clog the pores. Finally, you should cut your rabbit's nails with rounded point scissors designed for rabbits to avoid injuries. Number 4. Make toys available to your pet. Did you know that rabbits love toys? Just like cats and dogs rabbits love toys. There are accessories for the cage and others which help to wear down the teeth. Toys are extremely important for rabbits because they ensure that the teeth stay the right size and do not grow too big when playing. You can also train your rabbit with some tricks that it will learn very easily. To do this you should use the click training card. Number 5. Choose a box for your rabbit's needs. Caring for a rabbit means paying close attention to hygiene aspects. Always keep a rabbit's needs box outside the cage so that the animal gets used to using it when walking around the house. Rabbits always choose a corner to attend to their needs, so choosing a corner tray would be ideal. Once you realize that your rabbit has already chosen the corner, place the box there. Number 6. Choose the most appropriate food for your rabbit. Rabbits love hay and it should always be available in a clean area of the cage. Besides facilitating the digestive process it stimulates the wear of the teeth. There are different flavors of hay and rabbits like this variety. We recommend vegetable hay, as it contains less sugar than fruit hay. However, you can, and should, alternate between different flavors. Offer vegetables such as carrots, cabbage, spinach, beets, celery, and others. You can also give fruits such as apple, blueberry, or strawberry. These foods should be given in small portions and always fresh. Always wash them very well and always have fresh water available. Eliminate foods such as corn, alfi, cabbage, tomatoes, onions, potatoes, beets, bread, candy, and dairy products. Number 7. 
Take your rabbit to the vet regularly. Veterinarians know how to take care of a rabbit to ensure its health and well-being. It is recommended to have a checkup once a year. The vet will recommend the vaccinations which are necessary depending on the geographical area in which you live and will examine the rabbit and make some recommendations such as the amount of feed. It is necessary to control the growth of the front teeth and the sharp edges of the back teeth, molars and premolars. So that's it folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to leave your like and follow our channel. A big hug to all.